Luna, are you primping? I'm just getting ready for the Royal Woods' astonishing quest. Sam's my partner, so, so I want to look good. Sam, tell us everything. This is your first date, isn't it? You must be so nervous. Nah, just stoked. I know Sam and I are going to be perfect for each other. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Mind wrapping this up? I got some calluses to scrape off. Hi, Luna. Uh, Bring it hi. Hi. Oops. Oops. Let's, Let's try, try that. that. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. Mm, put her there, partner. <laughs> Hello, everyone. As mayor of Royal Woods, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this year's Astonishing Quest! Okay, teams, you have the first clue. On your marks, get set. Whoops, that's not it. Go! Okay, Lisa and Darcy are on the left. Scoots and Helen are trying to flank us on the right. Let's move! Yeah. Oh, dang it! Told you not to wear white, Darcy. Yes! A hundred points. We only need four hundred more. Ambush! Yeah! <laughs> Sam, cover me! <laughs> Thanks for the assist, Butterfingers! Aren't they cute? <laughs> I don't know, brah. Those beaks look pretty sharp. All done. One dozen eggs. Chill, dudes. <laughs> Here's your next clue. Sorry I messed that up. Farms aren't really my thing. That's okay. I mean, I love them, but I get they're not for everybody. We'll just avoid any dates that involve lasers and livestock. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I love sailing! Totally! I mean, you know, who doesn't? <laughs> here, here, let me help you. All we gotta do is make it across the pond. Luna, hoist the mainsail! Um, yeah, the, the mainsail! Right by the boom? That pole. Right, the pole. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oof. Well, we got the clue. I'm sorry about that, Sam. You know, sailing's just not really your thing. Then why didn't you just tell me that? I just wanted us to have something in common. <sighs> Haven't you noticed? We've kind of got nothing. Yeah, I noticed. It's such a bummer, because I kind of thought we were perfect for each other. Me too. Well, what do you think? Should we call it quits? Well, we've come this far. We, we might as well finish the quest anyway. You know, as friends. Right, friends. Well... I guess I should read the last clue. One last challenge, and then you can gloat. This astonishing quest ends on a sweet note. You made it, girls! Congratulations! Let me show you to your station. Your last challenge is to bake an apple pie. Good luck! Ooh. Bacon's not really my thing. <gasps> Okay, two sticks of butter. One cup flour. Two cups of lard. And, uh, maybe we should mix it up now. Specialist down, folks. We have our quest winners. Scoops and Helen were the first to finish the final challenge, and bonus, their pie is delish. Congrats, ladies. <laughs> well, we didn't win, but I had a lot of fun today. I think I was wrong before. I, I know we don't have a lot in common, but maybe we can discover new things we both like. You know, like together. I'd really like that. And uh, next time, I'll try not to hit you with any lasers. <laughs> and I'll try not to spit any juice on you. <laughs> <laughs> Roses are 
Red McSwagger is sick. My token for you is my favorite pick. Oh, dream on, loons. You're the owner of a lonely heart. Okay, brown-haired louds. Did everybody deliver their tokens? Check. Affirmative. I bailed, dudes. I'm telling you, there's no way Sam digs me. Some of us blondes would kill to still be in the running. Don't you quit now. Ah! Oh, M. Gosh, you guys. The secret admirer is the mailman. He just handed me this letter. I don't feel the same way about him, so I let him down gently. Dear Owl Loud, here's a third letter, because I'm still feeling skittish. I dig your sweet sounds and love of all things British. <gasps> Luna, it's definitely you. Guys, Lucy was right about what happens next. Listen, I think it's time we put love on the menu. Oh, meet me tonight at Bangers and Mosh, the British eatery and rock venue. Whoa, this is really happening. What do I wear? Yeah! I'll be right there. I, I just want to make sure the mailman is okay. Guys, I, I don't see Sam anywhere. Maybe Sam's hidden behind that dork in the big British hat. Whoa, that dork is sitting with Mom. Oh, it's Dad. Kids, what are you guys doing here? Luna got a secret admirer letter from Sim, telling her to meet here. We're here for moral support. And dessert. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. There's been a mix-up. That letter was meant for your father. Wait, Sam likes Dad? No, sweetie, I sent the letter. Secret admirer letters are kind of our thing. It's how we met. Back in the day, I had a wicked crush on your father. Every morning at my crossing guard job, I'd listen for his melodious voice. And when he talked to me in that cute accent he picked up from his semester in England, I'd swoon. Hello, love. Pip, pip, mind the gap. <sighs> But I was too afraid to speak to him because I thought he was out of my league. <laughs> so I started slipping notes in his pocket as he passed by. <sighs> by my third note, I got up the nerve to ask him to meet me here. And my boldness paid off because here we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of that first date. Best day of my life, love. Oh. <laughs> Luna, I'm sorry that letter wasn't for you. I hope you're not too disappointed. Well, I was at first, but now that I've heard your story, I'm totally inspired. If you took a risk with Dad, why can't I take a risk with Sam? Why are we sitting around waiting for them to come to us? We should go to them! This is cause for celebration! Meat pies for everyone! Uh, I, I meant just for my family. See you later, Sam. Okay, see ya! Sam, you're the best! How'd you get here so fast? I was around the corner picking up Simon from his gamers club meeting, so we came right over. We? Hi, Luna. Hey, that's harsh. Sorry, I didn't mention it on the phone, but I'm not supposed to have anyone else over. The cats get anxious. I mean, I figured you'd be okay because animals love you and all. Well, we can't leave my little brother out there. It is nice weather. Luna! Right, right, okay. We just need to make sure the cats don't see him. Cool. What is this place? The McBride's entertainment room. You can hang out here while Sam and I take care of the cats. No way! A Dreamwalker 3 virtual reality system? Uh, well, just... Promise you'll be careful, okay? That's Clyde's. Promise. All right, let's take care of those cats. Ready or not, here I come! Gotcha! Baby, it's in kitty dreamland With fish 
oceans of yarn balls and tuna fish scales. But when you awake, the day dawns anew, and morning shall greet you with a bright and happy new. Phew, Sam, I owe you big time. Please, I'm just psyched we're gonna get to see Mick together. I better duck out before the McBrides get back. Alrighty, see you, Sam. <laughs> Simon! <laughs> well, I thought your potato salad was delicious. Then why did everyone go for Aunt Brenda's, hmm? And, and she wasn't even supposed to bring any. She signed up for dessert. Hey, McVees, welcome home. Luna, how did it go with our precious fluff angels? Flawless. They had snacks, they went for a run, oh, I, I walk. We even played... Simon! <laughs> says! We played Simon Says! Well, we're so grateful you could help us out in a pinch. <laughs> Thanks so much, Luna. <laughs> Wait! Is everything okay? Hey, uh, did you want to take some potato salad for the road? Shoot! I just realized I lost a uh, uh, guitar pick somewhere in the house. Oh, well, we'll keep an eye out for it and we'll have Clyde bring it over. No, 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 no. It's my lucky one. I can't jam without it. <laughs> I bet we'll find it in no time if you dudes just help look. Why don't you check in the bathroom and I'll just look out here. Dad, have you seen my VR gear? Try the kitchen, honey. <laughs> Hey, Luna. Oh, here it is. Just, uh, checking for termites. It comes complimentary with my, um, uh, cat sitting services. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You gotta go right now. <laughs> the window's stuck. <laughs> Luna, where are you? Uh, I found your guitar pick. She's in the kitchen, Dad. Oh, never mind. It's just a tiny tortilla chip. <gasps> I'm so sorry for breaking your rule. Here, I don't deserve this. We appreciate your honesty. But we do have to say, when we checked in on our fur babies just now, we have never seen them sleeping so soundly. That was all, Sam. She's a total cat whisperer. Wait, loons. It was your idea to sing them a super sweet lullaby. That's what got them to fall asleep so peacefully. Well, Hair Bear, I don't know about you, but I'm impressed. More like me wowed. <laughs> it sounds like you girls made a great cat sitting team, so... Why don't you split the $40? Well, I already know what I'm doing with my half. <gasps> what are you waiting for? Hurry up and get that VIP pass. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I'm gonna go check on Mick. Hurry, I want to watch the show together. All right, here's your outfit. I've got all Mick's songs ready on me laptop. All you gotta do is go out there and lip sync. Got it. Let's hope this works. Up, up, up. Don't forget your Mick <sighs> mullet. Break a leg. <laughs> Let's give a warm welcome to Mick Swagger. Where's your band, Mick? Uh, they all got a case of toys. Best they play behind a curtain, love. Uh, <laughs> good thinking. Okay, smile. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Royal Woodside. Are you ready to rock? Gotta be in two places at the same time. It's a real big challenge, just like a steam. Mountain clock getting double vision from a doing double time. Like trying to be a lemon while you're trying to be a lamb. Got a show in my and another I'll be back in a tick. Just gotta use the loo. There you are. Mixed awesome so far. Oh, yeah. I, I saw it from backstage. Should we get some punch before he goes back on? You know, I'll get it for us. <laughs> Gotta be in two places at the same time. It's a real big challenge, just like a steep hot mountain. Blimey, me guitar stream popped. B.I.B. 
Here you go, love! I mean, here, Sam. You okay? Yeah, it's just that when I said I wanted to watch Mick Swagger with you, I meant with you. You know? BRB! In you go, love. Gotta be in two places at the same time. It's a real big challenge. Just last time, I'm not again. No, I told you, no, I'm trying to be a little white right from you. Luna, what is going on? Have you been performing as Mick all night? Yeah. Oh, I tried to get him to play the dance, but I couldn't. Great. Now I'm back to being Principal Puddles. Luna, why did you do this? <sighs> I told you guys that Mick and I had this amazing bond, and you all thought it was so cool. But the truth is, I couldn't get Mick to play. Because we're not mates. He doesn't even know who I am. There's my breadstick girl. <gasps> Hello, Luna Love. <gasps> Whoa, we're twinsies, smashing! Nick, you showed up! Of course! I read your greasy letter in the pizza box. Besides, it's not a complete trip to Royal Woods if I don't see Luna loud. I'm sorry we're late. You didn't write down the address, so we've been to every high school in the Tri-County area. I hope we can still play the dance. You can and you will! Selfie! Oh! oh. Luna, since you're already in me, Dads, how about you join me for a double Mick duet? Oh. Doing double duty, yeah, I'm going to share. Is it hard? Yes, absolutely. I'm just doing double duty. Doing double duty, yes, we're taking the rest. Working on my booty, just to do. Our puddle problem worked out for me. What'd I tell you? Best dance ever. Thanks, love. Anytime I can, you better know I wanna play with my band. Play a little guitar and clap my hands. Woo! Check out my tattoo. Oh, we believe you. Boy, wicked show, mates. Yeah, Sully, you destroyed those keys. You can still see the marks on his forehead. <laughs> Ow. Let's go grab some grub. Chuck, you coming? Love to, mate, but I've got another gig. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Bingo! No, love, we haven't started yet. Boy! <laughs> Sam, hurry and put your base away so we can go. All right, all right. <laughs> Bad pranks! <laughs> okay, you got me. Glad it wasn't me this time. <laughs> uh, lucky you. Dudes, I can't wait for us to be touring the world in rock and sold out stadiums. Just don't forget all your adoring fans back home. I assume you want the usual moon goat cheese fries, easy, easy on, on the moon. moon. Hold the, the goat. goat. Be right back. <laughs> Get it? Because it sounds like a goat. All right, dudes, game time. Guess the rock star. I'll go first. Mick Swagger. I didn't even start yet. It's, it's always, always Mick Swagger. Mick Swagger. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm picking up a to-go order. Katie Crest. Guys, she's the biggest manager in the music biz. I'm going to see what she's doing in town. So, are you new to Royal Woods? No, just in town a couple of days, launching a summer rock tour. Cool. Here's your lasagna to go. And should your tour ever need a little more cowbell... The clang. Because that's the sound a cowbell makes. Huh. Oh, yep, got it. Did you put extra Parmesan in the bag? Could be our big break. If we can get Katie to hear us rock, she might agree to be our manager. You in? Oh, yeah. Totally. Now! Oh. Let us play one song for you, and I promise we'll leave you alone. <sighs> Fine. Yes! All right, one, two, three, four. And it's not my game, you better know I wanna play with my band. I've heard enough. Oh. That was 
phenomenal. I mean, I had my doubts, but I was clearly wrong. You've got some serious star appeal. The look, the vibe. I'd love to manage you. <laughs> Congrats, kiddos. Oh, I'm so ding ding happy for all of you. All? <laughs> no, just her. Wait, what? Why only me? The lead singer in one of my bands just dropped out of the tour. Her cat became an influencer. You'd be the perfect replacement. What do you say? Yes. No. The tour leaves at the end of this week. I need an answer. Um, can you just uh, give us one sec? Moon Girl Conference, in the kitchen. How about a little hold music? I have your card. Are you seriously going to say yes? The Moon Goats were supposed to make it big together. I'm gonna give you guys some space. Would you mind just stirring the chili? Look, I hate leaving the band too, but I, I can't pass up this chance. I would support you guys if you got your big break. I'm really bummed you're not supporting me. <sighs> okay, if that's what you want. Sorry, it is. I need to go tell Katie. Well, Luna, today is the beginning of a new rock star life for you. Adoring fans, sold out stadiums, a different city every night. I can't do this. Are you serious? We're loading the bus right now. Don't tell me your cat got famous too. No, look, I'm super grateful for the opportunity, but I don't want to do this without my friends. I meant to rock with them. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Bertie. <laughs> Good night! <laughs> Stick around! Bingo is coming up next! Oh, yeah! So, what do you think? Chunk, welcome to the rock star life. You're not a glitter guy, are you? Looks like we have an opening for a lead singer. How about we give our new roadie a promotion? <laughs> Works for me! You won't regret it! I missed you guys! Moon goes for life! Hey, losers! I'm four espressos deep and I'm ready to mash! Roll. Time to get our jam on! I can't wait to show you guys this new track I've been working on. Hey, what's that? Someone selling their gear? Mm, no, it looks like a note from Principal Rivers. Due to recent budget cuts, the music club has been canceled. What? what? How can she cancel the music club? Doesn't she know how much it means to us? There must be some mistake. Ugh. Wait, that's our drum! Dudes, we gotta stop this! We want rock! We want roll! Music clubs are heart and soul! Um, Principal Rivers, you might want to see this. Hang on, I can't decide between the maple glazed or the bear claw. Mm. Oh, yeah, grr, bear claw. We want rock! Hmm? We want roll! Music clubs are heart and soul! Oh no, are those the music kids? Oh, they seem really mad at me. Maybe I shouldn't have cut their club. Wait, 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 wait. Don't panic. You spent weeks making the new budget. Stand firm. Mm, right. Principal Rivers, we're not giving up our club without a fight. So listen up, because this song's going out to you. When the last bell rings, we reach for our guitars. Kick out the jams and pretend that we're rock and roll stars. Our music club is everything to us. We'd be lost without it, so we're putting up a fuss. It's a catchy song, but you've already made up your mind. Right, Principal Rivers? P -p Principal Rivers. So we got to save the music. Save it from going away. Yeah, we got to save the music. Principal Rivers, what do you say? Music. It's up to me, cause I'm the principal. Oh yeah, sh shoo ba boop boo boo Woo! Yeah! Oh, woo! All right. Save our music! Save our theater! Oh dear. Save, Save our, our sports! Theater, you goon! Hey! Watch it, meathead! Hey! Why are you drama kids even here? The only thing your plays are good for is putting people to sleep! Ew! Wanna know what puts me to sleep? Watching you like pointlessly chase a ball around all day! Oh! 
What? Yeah! And when was the last time you guys even won a game? <sighs> well, maybe we would be able to concentrate better if it wasn't for all that racket coming from the band room! That does it! You guys are going down! Let's get him! Let's see. Broken wall. Cracked historical acorn statue. Double door replacement. What do you got? Yeah, that's bad. Principal Rivers, you know what to do. Uh, I can't. You must. <sighs> There's only one way to cover all this damage, guys. I'm gonna have to cut all the school clubs. <gasps> all of them? Yep. Cooking club, origami club, squirrel feeding club. Everything. Oh, I have friends in those clubs. So Me do too, I. man. Principal Rivers, forget our three clubs. We got what we deserved. Oh. But you can't cut the rest of them. This is literally our fault, not theirs. But how else am I going to pay for the repairs? Way to go, girls. Thanks to all your hard work, we've raised enough money to fix the school and save your friends' clubs. Wow, what a relief. That is all we cared about. Wait, you didn't count everything. <laughs> Whoa, this is amazing. It looks like we have enough to keep all the clubs. <laughs> Dudes, this calls for an encore. When you lose something you love, you fall off track. And you do whatever you can to get it back. At first we tried to do it on our own. But together we're stronger and look at how we've grown. So you gotta stand together. Cause together you can do anything. Yeah, you gotta stand. Dudes, careful! Someone's gonna see me! Ah, Sam and Mazzy! <laughs> hey, Louds! Whoa! Nice amp! Is it tube or solid state? Uh, not sure. But boy, is it hot out here. Uh, don't want this baby to sit in the sun! Bye! Thanks for helping me out, dudes. You remember the plan? Keep your friends away and make sure no one in the audience films the show so it doesn't leak. Wow, Lenny, you nailed it. Okay, everybody, let's roll out. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm not so sure about this, sweetie. No one will know who we are. Exactly. I, I mean, all the cool bands have rock and stage personas. Okay, dad dudes, let's go tear up that stage. <laughs> Sorry, but that's what you get for walking in the splash zone. <laughs> Gotta find something else. Guys, let's wear these on stage. <laughs> or, um... Hey, a fog machine. Every girl... <laughs> Sweetie, I think I know what's going on. Shred hands, face painting, fog. You don't want to be seen on stage with our band. What? No way. I, I love playing with you dudes. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm afraid no one will think I'm a legit rocker if they see me with your band. I'm sorry. Don't be. I understand. We have our own different styles of music, and that's okay. You don't have to play with us. I mean that. Thanks, Pops. You rock. Don't worry about the crowd. They'll love you. Who's worried? Not this guy. Hey there, best heads. We've got a real treat for you. Put your hands together for the doodads. Uh, Lynn, buddy, you okay? Hey, everybody, I'm really sorry, but it looks like we'll have to just... Just bye.